Now, I believe in one thing. I believe in a certain philosophy. And the philosophy says that we all, we all have the same potential to create wealth and success. We all have the same, what about it? Potential to create wealth and success. Despite your age, despite your race, despite your education, we have the same potential to create wealth and success. And it's a philosophy which I hold. And we say it is possible, it is possible for others to achieve whatever results or wealth is possible for who? It's possible for me. It's only a question of not time. <laughs> it's only a question of using the right what? The right strategy. How many of you believe that there's a formula for success? It means people who succeed is because they do things a certain way. And we can learn from it. How many believe that? Okay, how many believe there's no formula for success? Any of them? Okay, so is there a formula for success? Yes, there is. If you study any successful person, be it Richard Branson, be it, you know, Steve Jobs, be it a Lee Kuan Yew, be it whoever, you notice that all of them they have different skills. They have different industries, they have different backgrounds. Warren Buffett, for example, all different, right? But you study their behavioral patterns, they follow a certain formula, okay? And it's what I call the ultimate success formula. The ultimate success formula is a formula to achieve what you want, okay? What do you think is the first step in this formula? What's the first thing all successful people have in common? Anyone? Mindset, mindset? Okay, close, all right. Yes. Drive. Habits. No. Passion. Vision. Okay, close it on. Okay, you get $1,000. You must be good. Okay? Uh, first thing is people who achieve exceptional results is because they begin by they know what they want. They, are, they know their outcome. They get very clear on this thing called their what they call it? Their goal. Now, this sounds like common sense. Uh, most people in life, they go through life without being clear on their outcome. They are not clear what they want. A lot of people know what they don't want, but they don't really know what they want. Okay? How many of you, honestly speaking, right, every single day when you wake up in the morning, right, you have got very clear outcomes for the day of your life. You are very clear. Like you wake up every single day and say, okay, my outcome is to increase my income by 30% in the next few years. And every single day I'm going out there to find opportunities to build myself up. How many of you have got that clear goal that way? Only one person. <laughs> Now, if you wake up every single morning and say, okay, my outcome is, you know what, five years from now, two years from now, I'll be of that division. And every single day, I go to heal up my credentials, to build up my opportunity. Help me do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being honest. How many go to that? Yeah? Right, but you find that if you, you wake up every day and you're not clear on what is your outcome, of going to work, of meeting people, guess what? Every morning you wake up, see you. Then you turn around and you see the voice face, Sienna. Then you go to the bathroom and you see your face, Sienna. I mean, you go to work and you see the boss face, You see the glass, Sienna. These people have got no fire, only got smoke. So the first thing is to know what you want. Right? Most people, when you think of setting goals, they think of this thing called New Year resolution. I mean, I've done that before. So they say, okay, this year I resolve to lose weight. This year I resolve to go to the gym. And when is the next time they look at a goal? Next year. Does anything happen? No. That's what a goal. Okay? Now for something to be a true outcome, how often must we look at it? Every single day. You see, the, the reason why most people don't achieve what they want is because they write it down, they don't write it down, they look at it once. And the next time they look at it is a long time after that. True enough. By this kind of one thing, the only way to achieve anything is you've got to be the way obsessed. Everyone say obsessed! Obsessed! Warren Buffett is obsessed with investing. He is Greece and sleep investing. He's obsessed. I'm obsessed with speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Some people laugh. Do you know laugh? Do you know the last time right, I slept for about six hours? It was a strange thing. The last time I slept for six hours, I did a whole seminar last time I dream. I dreamt I was in Cedar Middle School doing a seminar for all the kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much obsessed I am, okay? High voice is obsessed about what? God. That's why they're the best at what they do. They are always focused on that. Every because when you are clear on your outcome, then you answer, whatever I'm doing up, is it moving me to my outcome? Now, I'm not saying it must always be about money, right? Outcome could be about your relationships. Like, whenever you go out your kids every Sunday, you have an outcome. It's your outcome to build a stronger relationship with your kids. If you go out the outcome, but that's certain things you're going to do. If you just go out and say, well, just go, and you just go through the whole church, right? Every single day when you go back home after work and you spend time with your wife, 
Do you have an outcome, for example, to say, you know what, today I'd like to share now to help her problems and share my phone with her to get close together. Do we do things for an outcome? Right? So, in this program, I'm going to start thinking very clear what are the, what are the outcomes you have for your life. Especially since it's a well academy, your financial goals. Be very clear, what are your financial goals? What do you want to get out of this program? You know, five years from now, what do you, what do you see? They did this interesting research many years ago, in the year 1952, and this place called Yale University. Have you heard of Yale University? Yes. Is it a good university? Yes. It's one of the best universities in the world, right? Rank number four. I used to think so, until I found out that George Bush went there. And in the year 1952, they actually did a survey on the graduating batch of students. And they asked all the students this question, how many of you have got your goals written down in life? That means how many of you have got your life plans written down? Okay? And they discovered something quite shocking. They discovered only 3% of the students at Yale actually had their what? Their goals written down. And these 3% were very right clear what they wanted. Like some of them said, okay, after I graduate, I'm going to work for, you know, uh, IBM, or you know, Goldman Sachs, or Procter and Gamble, whatever, okay? Know, the best computer company in the industry. And when I went for that company, you know, I think I gave myself five years. In five years, I learned everything about the business. In five years, I see myself as a king of software development. In five years, I'm making this like hundred thousand dollars a year. And once I get enough experience, enough contacts, then on the six years, you know, I go out there and I start my own one, my own computer company, my own business. Then I give myself another six more years to list on a stock exchange, right? To hit a certain revenue target in seven countries and to, you know, uh, financially retire by 45 years old. That's an example, okay? Or some of them will say, okay, after I graduate, you know, 10 years from now, I like to run for the White, white House. But the point was, they are very clear what they want, right? But the 97% of students, even though they were equally as intelligent, as smart, hardworking, from Yale, but these were the people with no clear what? Goals. They were not clear about what they wanted in life. Alright? When you ask, you know, five years from now, how much money will you earn? They say, how I know it depends? <laughs> they say, depends on what? Depends on what my work pay you? Alright? Five years from now, where will you be in your career? They say, how I know it depends? They say, depends on what? Uh, depends on the economy? Depends on my boss? Depends on the love? Depends on the situation? <laughs> so again, the difference was the mindset. These people, their mindset is, I decide my destiny. Let's say this again. I decide my destiny. <laughs> I decide exactly what I want and I find a way to make it happen. Now, will they always get what you want? Yes or no? Yes. No, no. no There's no guarantee right Okay. You don't always get what you want, right? But even if you don't get exactly what you want, will they be at least somewhere around there? Or at least moving in there, that, right? Sure. A classic example is how many of you have heard of El Gore? El Gore, his dream for a long time was to become the President of the United States, he had a dream for a very, very long time. But do you know why he wanted to become president? What's the reason behind it? Change and kind of environmentalist. He's passionate about the environment. That's his purpose. Clinton's purpose was to help the poor. Bush's purpose was to go to Iraq and rock oil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? They want a purpose, okay? But here's the thing when he lost that election, right? <laughs> when he lost the election by right? less than 1%, he says, screw it, screw the dream. He said, no, you know what? If I can't be president, I'll, I'll achieve my dream in a different way. You know what you do? You want to write a book, right? And you want to make a movie, right? And you went to arrange for the World Earth Concert, right? And this year he won the Nobel Prize. Remember that? Okay? And when you won the Nobel Prize, people told me, hey, why not president said you will win with your popularity? What do you say? I don't know how interested. Why? Now he looks back, you know what he says? It's a blessing in disguise that he becomes president. Because if I was president, I would spend so much time on politics. And on the war, and on all these things, I got no time for my true passion to the environment. And it says, because I was not president today, ironically, I can achieve, achieve, achieve more. Does that make sense? So the point is, sometimes in life, when you want something, you go for it. You know, things don't always turn out exactly where you can. How do you have times where the universe slammed a door in your face? Two. Like you wanted something, but the door slammed on your face. All of, I don't know about you, I experienced many, many times. But I believe every time a door slams on our face, Another door, open somewhere, to lead us to a better place or a 